What is going on guys? Welcome back here to another NHL 18 shootout commentary and uh, this is going to be a tough one to talk through because I have a pretty annoying cold and it's kind of bugging my nostrils a lot which is hard to breathe and hard to talk but that's not important. What, what is important is what we saw last night. Alex Ovechkin winning his first Stanley Cup. Yes boys, Alex Ovechkin is a Stanley Cup champion. Now I remember the 2017 playoffs last year they got eliminated in the second round again by Pittsburgh in embarrassing fashion, even though they did four or seven games, but still, like, everybody was saying they were done. I have a video on my channel saying they suck, <laughs> and now they have came back the next year and they have won the Stanley Cup, and, for, and before we get into Washington a bit more, I'd like to congratulate Vegas, you know, they had an amazing year. I did not have them making the playoffs, not even, not even having a near 500 record. I thought they were going to be a bottom feeder team, but they prevailed. They got to the playoffs, they faced some tough teams, and they did get to the Stanley Cup Final. Sadly, it couldn't have gone to six or seven games, but they did, play, they did play what they could. They're a good team, they have a good future in front of them. But, back here to the Washington Capitals, I mean, oh my goodness, man. If Evgeny Kuznetsov, let me just start, well, let, let's start off with the awards. I guess the uh, Khan Smythe, I think, I think Kuznetsov deserved it. You know, he played he played really good. He had like 31 points going into game 5. I don't know if he had any points in game uh in game 5 exactly, but he had 31 points going into that night. I mean, it's better if Ovechkin would get it. Yes, it cap off, you know, what a great year he's had, but I still think Kuznetsov deserved it, but I'm not complaining, but it was it was really good to see Ovechkin so happy. He was so he couldn't believe it, you know. Like uh, if if you watch the videos on uh on him, you'll see how excited he was, but I I'm, I'm just really proud of him. I can't be mad, even though I did want Vegas to win. I chose Vegas in uh, six games to win, but that's obviously not the case anymore. So, is what it is. But, I mean, players like Lars Eller really showed up big time. I'm pretty sure he had 13 points or something, or even more than that. He had, well, he had a couple goals. Devontae smith Pelly. I remember that guy was on waivers a couple years ago. He's been playing. He scored some huge goals for them, too. I mean, it's great. And, you know, on defense, John Carlson, he's been a very good defenseman, American-born, so... That's what you get from those type of defensemen from the Americas, but, um, you know, it's just been great. Brooks Orpik, he's, he was the only guy on that team that ever had a Stanley Cup, and now he has two, so that's pretty good. Um, I don't think I'm forgetting anything too, bi too big. Oh, yeah, TJ Oshie, man. When they were talking to him, and he was talking about his dad, you know, he has Alzheimer's. You know, that kind of hit me at home because my grandfather, he had uh, Alzheimer's, and he passed away, sadly. But, you know, it's just how life is, but... It was great to see TJ Oshie so happy like that, and you know, I'm, I'm proud of him and his family for, you know, getting the Stanley Cup. And then, of course, in that Holpe, what, oh my god, what a legend, man. All those saves he made, the save in game two, I think it was on Alex Tuck. Man, oh man, he played a great series. Other than game one, he played a really good series, man. I mean, that's just, it was a good run for him. I don't think, I mean, I think he deserved the con smite too, but Kuznetsov, you know, he, he got the team going with all those points and all those goals and assists, so I think Kuznetsov deserved it. But, you know, it is what it is, and man, I, I, I don't know where this uh, team will be going next, though, because uh, Barry Trotz, their coach, is a free agent after when the season ends, so he's an unrestricted free agent, basically, for coaching. So I'm, I, I think he's going to resign with them, obviously. I saw, I saw an article saying he wanted to stay in Washington, so I imagine he will. But I don't know uh, who the Capitals have to resign uh, this year, because we we do know they are a cap. They are not a cap friendly team. They're right up against it. So we'll have to see what they can do uh, do there. But now they're Stanley Cup champions, and it's uh it's something, man. I just I I did not think they were gonna do it. I thought they were gonna blow it. I really did. I thought once they went up three one, I'm like, well, there was a post that I saw on Instagram saying. They blew five three to one series leads in their history, the most in NHL history for by any team. So, I thought that would come back, but nope. They shut the door. They played a great game in Game Five, and now they are Stanley Cup champions. It's amazing, truly amazing. Did not think it was gonna happen. So, yeah, guys, tell me what did you think of this year's Stanley Cup Final and the Stanley Cup playoffs in general? It was a very fun one for me. I, I enjoyed watching. Every series was fun to watch, besides Anaheim and San Jose, but. All the other ones were something something worth watching for. So yeah, guys, smash the like button if you enjoyed this video. Subscribe to see more content like this. I'll see you guys later.